At Dunn's Doors, we're always here for our customers. When shopping, always keep two metres apart from others. We encourage shopping with one trolley per one person. Our dedicated teams are working tirelessly to keep the shelves stocked, so no need to stockpile. Taking care of each other is important, so we have the carers shopping hours daily from 11am to 1pm. And our amazing staff mean we're always here for our customers. Dunn's Doors. We need air to breathe. We must breathe in order to stay alive. Our lungs transport the oxygen that we inhale when breathing into our blood cells. This blood is then carried to the heart. The heart works as a pump for the body, transporting the oxygen to all other organs. When we smoke, we are filling our lungs with over 7,000 chemicals, including nicotine, the addictive substance which fools the brain into feeling happy for several minutes. It's a deadly poison in high doses. Tar, the ingredient which stains the teeth and fingers. It gathers as a sticky brown substance in the lungs. Carbon monoxide, a poisonous gas which lowers the blood's ability to transport oxygen. Formaldehyde, radioactive chemicals. Toxic metals, which are used in the making of batteries, paint, pesticides and steel. And poisonous gases, which may be used in the making of lighter fluid, household cleaners, and even chemical weapons. These chemicals are transported to tissues all around the body when we smoke. Smoking increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases such as heart attack, stroke, and angina, and respiratory diseases such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. Smoking also raises blood pressure, stains skin and teeth and can even contribute to fertility problems. Smoking can be harmful to your baby while pregnant. Lung cancer is the most common cancer caused by smoking. One in five heavy smokers will die of lung cancer. Smoking 10 cigarettes or more a day qualifies as heavy smoking. Smoking can also result in cancers of the throat, larynx, nose, mouth, bladder, esophagus and pancreas. As well as causing long-term diseases, smoking also weakens the immune system, meaning it's easier to catch diseases and takes longer to recover from everyday illnesses. Smokers will spend, on average, two extra days in hospital per visit than non-smokers. All in all, smokers lose an average of 10 to 15 quality years of life. 85% of the smoke from a cigarette is consumed by others. The children of smokers have higher rates of admission to hospital and spend an average of three extra days per visit in hospital compared to the children of non-smokers. Children are also more at risk of sudden infant death syndrome, respiratory diseases such as asthma and bronchitis, and ear infections. Giving up smoking saves your life. Within 20 minutes of quitting, blood pressure drops and pulse rate and body temperature return to normal. Within 48 hours of quitting, the ability to taste and smell improves. And within three weeks, lung function and circulation improves. After one year of not smoking, the risk of sudden death from heart attack is almost cut in half. Smoking is also an expensive habit. Quitting could save you thousands per year. Smoking 10 cigarettes a day costs 1,825 euro per year. Cork University Hospital is a smoke-free campus. 
and is committed to helping you stop smoking. Smoking cessation officers are available to advise and support you. Willpower is no match for addiction. Studies have shown you are more likely to quit using a smoking cessation product. Smoking cessation products include Nicotine Replacement Therapy NRT. Examples include a patch, gum or inhaler. Alternatives including tablets like Shampix. Please note that most of these therapies to be effective need a minimum of 12 weeks treatment. The HSE advocates the use of dual NRT, such as a patch and inhaler combination, as the recommended first time treatment. Your smoking cessation officer can advise you on all of these options. Quitting is four times more likely to be successful when the individual receives support. If you have any questions about nicotine replacement therapy at CUH, please contact the smoking cessation officer at 021 49 22280 or 087-121-9633.
Gestational diabetes is one of the most common health problems that can happen during pregnancy. It affects as many as 12% of pregnancies in Ireland and can lead to serious problems for both mum and baby. Certain women are at higher risk of developing gestational diabetes. For example, if you are overweight, if you have a family member with diabetes, if you had gestational diabetes in a previous pregnancy or depending on your ethnic background. If you are at risk, you will receive a blood test for gestational diabetes between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy. If you are diagnosed, there are day-to-day -day changes you can make to stay healthy. How much exercise you get and what kind of food you eat can have important effects on your health and your baby's health. But what happens when you have gestational diabetes and how can diet and exercise help? Food and drinks are broken down in your digestive system. The sugar they contain is absorbed into your bloodstream. But sugar needs insulin to work. Insulin is made by the pancreas and helps sugar get into your cells. Insulin acts like a key that lets the sugar move from the bloodstream into the cells of your body where it is used for energy. Pregnancy hormones change the way insulin works in your body. In the later stages of pregnancy, these changes make it difficult for insulin to unlock the cells and allow the sugar to enter. This is what is known as insulin resistance. Some insulin resistance is normal in pregnancy, but this means that your pancreas needs to work extra hard to keep blood sugar levels in a healthy range. When you have gestational diabetes, your pancreas is not able to keep up. As a result, too much sugar is left in the blood. However, a carefully planned diet with high fibre carbohydrates and no added sugar can make it easier for your body to manage the sugar in your blood. Exercise will also help keep blood sugar low as it improves insulin's ability to unlock the cells and uses up sugar for energy. If blood sugar is controlled, your chances of a healthy pregnancy are the same as a non-diabetic mum. This makes diet and exercise powerful tools for a healthy pregnancy. However, if blood sugar is not well controlled, this can lead to problems in both mum and baby. In a study of 23,000 pregnant women around the world, researchers found a link between high blood sugar in mum and babies that had grown too big. Researchers also found a link between high blood sugar and preeclampsia, premature delivery, need for caesarean section, birth injury and abnormal sugar control in baby. Diabetes during pregnancy can also put you and your baby at risk for problems later in life, including type 2 diabetes and heart disease. But there are actions you can take. Changes in diet and exercise, combined with close monitoring, can successfully manage blood sugar in 7 out of 10 pregnancies. So no better time to start than now. To learn more about Irish research on maternal and newborn health, you can visit the HRB Mother and Baby Clinical Trial Network
Dunn's Doors, we're always here for our customers. When shopping, always keep two metres apart from others. We encourage shopping with one trolley per one person. Our dedicated teams are working tirelessly to keep the shelves stocked, so no need to stockpile. Taking care of each other is important, so we have the carers shopping hours daily from 11am to 1pm. And our amazing staff mean we're always here for our customers. Dunn Stores.
whooping cough is a serious infection that can cause a distressing cough, difficulty breathing, difficulties with feeding and vomiting. Whooping cough vaccine is one of the routine baby vaccines every child is given, so babies aged six months and older are usually protected against whooping cough. However, infants less than eight weeks old who are too young to have had their vaccines are especially vulnerable to this infection. Whooping cough may cause serious complications, especially in these very young babies. They may have to be hospitalised because of difficulty with breathing or with feeding. Young infants who are unvaccinated, that means children under two months of age who have not received a two-month vaccine, are a very susceptible group for whooping cough infection. These infants can be protected through pertussis vaccination during pregnancy, and that's the only way these infants can be protected. When they get this condition, they get excessive coughing, they need oxygen, they often go blue or dusty, they have feeding difficulties, and unfortunately they are prone to complications from the whooping cough infection. These complications can include pneumonia, some procedures, and potentially brain injury. Unfortunately, there have been children, especially young infants, in Ireland who have died because of whooping cough in the last number of years. This is a preventable infection and especially important for this vulnerable group, I encourage all pregnant women to receive the pertussis vaccine during pregnancy. It's been shown to be a safe, effective vaccine and it's the only way you can protect your vulnerable infants. The reason why this vaccination schedule was started in pregnancy is that there was an increased number of babies um, being infected with the whooping cough scare. It's the same vaccine that you give to your children, so it's nothing different. And the whole aim of it is that it will boost your immune system as a whole, and it will give you the opportunity to pass that immunity across to your baby, across the placenta. There is this increasing uh, recognition of the importance of this vaccine. Um, and our focus today is just to try and encourage all moms to go and have their vaccine done. Not for their own protection, but for the protection of their baby when it's born. Whooping cough vaccine or pertussis is, is an important vaccine in, in, in pregnancy. Mm -hmm. It's a safe vaccine in pregnancy. There's no risk to the pregnancy itself. It can be given any time uh, from uh, 16 to 18 weeks onwards in, in pregnancy. Well, some women do worry about what effects it might have on them directly themselves. Like any vaccine, when you get it, you could have a, an area of soreness around the injection site, sometimes a little bit of redness around that site, which is very short-lived and is of no harm to them or their baby.
has been researching your milk for hundreds of millions of years. The composition of your milk is alive and changes throughout the day, the night, the months and the years to meet your child's needs. Your milk contains stem cells. These are cells that create and repair the body and are being researched worldwide to cure conditions like Alzheimer's and diabetes. Your milk contains components that kill cancerous cells. Your body identifies bacteria and viruses found in your baby's body and environment. You then produce antibodies specifically tailored to those infections and deliver them to your child through your milk. Your milk appears to switch on a gene in your baby's body which produces a hormone called leptin. This hormone tells your baby when his tummy is full, protecting him against overeating. Your milk contains oxytocin, a hormone that induces relaxation and feelings of well-being in your child and in you. It's all in you. Human milk, tailor-made for tiny humans.
Here's the time to enjoy meal times together, whether we're eating indoors or out. With everyday savers from Dunn Stores, we've got barbecue ready favourites like four pack Board Bia approved Irish beef burgers, just two euro. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries, just two euro. And real fruit ice lollies, only one euro fifty. Plus, with our grocery voucher, you save an additional ten euro on every fifty euro you spend. Dunn Stores, always better value.